Hey, so this is a walkthrough of how to set up checklists for your printed Planning Center reports. Planning Center is very powerful in that it has custom reporting capabilities. And so we have actually created custom checklists for each position on our team that will just print out automatically on their report. So I like to have this waiting for each volunteer when they come in so they can just go through and make sure everything's working like it should. And so we put all this into Planning Center in advance. So let me show you how that works. If I come over here, this is just last week's plan, and scroll down to the left, you can see I've got a lot of plan item notes here. Uh, and I've got one for generally every uh, position on every team, at least as far as sound and tech teams are concerned. And so you can see I've actually got plan note categories um, for every one of those. And I've, I've named them specifically. So they're named checklist, sound team, sound a one for example so it's checklist name of the team name of the position and the reason that's important is because the actual code used by the planning center reporting engine it loops through and looks for these positions uh, in order to do that in order to make a match so for example this report i'm using this is actually one pdf i don't have to print it out multiple times i have one report it's called tech team order of service this one's the condensed version and it will actually loop through every position on the sound team or the tech team and print out a report for every position. And so I don't have to run the report uh, lots of different times or remember how many different copies to make. I just run it once and it will loop through and run for every position that's on the team. And so you can see here uh, for my camera position, I've got uh, these items in the checklist. I've got some during rehearsal items and then something to do before each service. And so uh, some of the other positions might have different checklists. So for example, here's my director. They have some things to do during rehearsal and then they have some things to do after each service. They don't have that before each service option. Um, but let me show you how that, how that works in the uh, plan side. So let's just scroll down here to the director and look. Uh, we saw in the report, I've got these during rehearsal items. Well, the way that I put them in here is um, with an asterisk at the beginning. And that tells the report, let's make this a during rehearsal item. Uh, and then a, some of these actually have a, a tilde at the beginning. And that says, let's make it an after service item. And the report will actually print out a checkbox for every service time in that plan automatically. So if you have one service time will just be one. If you have three or five, it'd be three or five boxes. And it just loops through and does all that on its own. Uh, and so if I don't have anything, like for example, the camera position here, this one doesn't have anything uh, at the beginning, no special character. That shows up as a before each service item. So you can see that here uh, for the camera position. Now every week I don't type these in by hand, I actually have them stored in a template. Uh, so you can see here, I have this service template called Tech Team Checklists. Uh, and the way templates work, you do have to have you know one for every service type. But I just have all these put in here, and so they're generally the same week to week. Uh, if I were to make a, a global change, I'd have to make it here. Uh, and then I go back to my plan, and every week, just before I print them, I do import, and then I choose tech team checklists and include this just the notes. There's not any items or teams in it anyway, uh, but just the notes is all I want to include. And I go ahead and import it to that plan. And so that brings all of them in automatically. And then when I go to print, it just shows up. Um, so I thought I'd show you that. And then let's look at a new thing we're doing now. So we have uh, matrix reports and we have two auditoriums so two different service types and I generally just want to print these reports one time so I've made a matrix report that uh, as long as the matrix the plane is loaded into the matrix here it will print out a report for every position in every plan of, that's in that matrix and so here's what that looks like for us this is my director sheet so a little bit different layout than what we saw before. Now I've moved the checklist down to the bottom. Uh, but you can see here that it is doing this for every service type. So if I scroll down far enough, you'll see 
um, some of the ones for the other service types. So here's a director for Auditorium 2. And one new thing that we're doing here is we have uh, highlighted in green on some of these columns the the value every time it changes. So this just kind of helps get the operator's attention. Hey, on this item, you're going to be making a significant change here. Uh, and so we're right now we're showing that in green just because we've implemented some new processes. And that's helping our volunteers know like, hey, on this item, I need to make sure that I do something based on what this is telling me. And so it depends on the position. Some of those have it, some of them don't. Uh, and so uh, that's a helpful thing that you can do with Planning Center custom reports. Uh, if you want access to any of these reports, I've made them available on my GitHub account, and I'll include a link to that on my blog.